Hey everybody, a quick video leaving behind things that make me angry. We'll be talking about some of those. We'll be talking about some actions that everyone can take. That's coming soon. There is another video about that already on YouTube, but there is more to come. In the meantime, I just want to show you something handy that you may not know about Family Search, especially if you work a lot in Ancestry. And that is that you can do what's called attaching memories to people in the One World family tree in Family Search. So I'm going to attach a, a photograph to my grandparents because it's got both of them in it. They loved to go on these uh, paddle wheel boats. <laughs> I think they like to gamble. I'm not really sure about that, um, but it's it was like a big deal to them. So I'm I'm opening up my grandma. And I'm going to be adding a memory to her. And this is a photograph from when they were on a paddle wheel boat at some point. I'm not exactly sure when, probably in the 90s, maybe even in the 80s. So a memory could be a document or it could be a photograph. Either way, it's a scan of something that was originally a piece of paper. A memory could also be an audio file, an MP3 or an MP4. It could be a file where you've interviewed somebody, which is an amazing thing. So this is an online virtual scrapbook that your entire family could actually access if all of them had memberships and were tied into your same ancestors, if everybody was tied together. And I really, really advocate for this. It's a great idea. There are only two things that the photographs are not allowed to have on Family Search. You're not allowed to show revealing be in revealing clothing so no show being basically no bathing suits is what that says and the other is no kissing on the lips and so <laughs> other than that um, you can add any kind of photo that you want so where i would go here in order to add a photograph so i would go to memories and let me show you right now what my grandma's memories look like we call her wag for short so i'll show you what, what wag's uh, memories look like click on memories and here you go there are all these wonderful photographs i love that one of her in her wig it was in her last few years of life and she wasn't very clear on what was going on around her but she did know enough to know that the clown wig was pretty hilarious um so that's pretty pretty awesome and um this also i really love this here um friends a friend of my grandparents um drew them this sketch uh, right before their engagement party and it was a gift to them at their engagement party and um, we still have it. So it's wrinkled, but I scanned it and I was very excited about that. So I'm gonna add this new photograph and just so you can see, these are all of the photographs that exist. My grandmother was married to my bio grandfather and my bio grandfather died when my dad was six and so then she remarried shortly after the war and um, that's the man I knew as my grandfather. So in order to add to this, I'm gonna upload a photo. Sorry, I hate that. Here we go. It's a photograph of my grandparents. So I click on it and then open from the file folder on my desktop. And Family Search is gonna process it. It's gonna make sure no smooching on the lips, no showing a shoulder, and I'm going to give it a title. And this is Wag and Daryl on board ship. Now, you can see over here, it's tagged to be a photograph belonging to Agnes Lucille Odom. That's because I was in her profile when I did the upload. But I can get more specific and I can click on it into order to tag you see click the image in order to tag people and i can make a nice little square around wag and that's the automatic person that's going to tag right because we're in her profile save it but i can also tag my grandfather it's going to put a little square around him and i can move that square i can make it bigger or smaller that's all right though and i start to type in his name there he is daryl clark debolt he's my step grandpa now both of them are tagged and it's really nice and what can i say about this um i'm going to say that it's family 
and we'll, it'll pull something up. Just family, probably family picture. I'll just say family picture. What the heck? You can type in whatever you want to as a tag, but, that, but now that this tagging system has been used a lot, there are a lot of tags already there. I'm going to save that tag. So now we've got a topic tag on it. And date-wise, shoot. I'm going to say this is about 1995. Let's just ballparking it until I can run it in front of my dad and he'll know when it was. And once you type in the date, you need it to be, you can see no standard is selected under there. This is selecting a standardized date. And Family search is all about the standardized date. And then finally, I can add description. They liked paddle wheel boat, boats. Save. And that's it. That's all it takes. So if you want to add a photograph to family search, it's that simple. And I hope that you will. Bye.